السلام علیکم سن آپ کی آواز آئی تھنک آئی کینٹ ہیئر یو بیکاز یو آر میوٹ آئی کین سی یو میوٹ بٹن آن السلام علیکم سر جی جی سوری ہاؤ آر یو سر یس آئی ایم ویری ویری ویل تھینک یو ویری ایکسائٹیڈ ٹو بی ود ود دی آڈینس دیٹ دیٹ از ایکچولی کوائٹ انکریجنگ فار می تھینک یو ویری مچ فار آرگنائزنگ دس بیوٹیفل سیشن ہوپلی ویل ہیو انٹریکٹیو سیشن اینڈ دی مسٹ بی لاٹ آف کوشچنس فرام دی students and from you uh that's so nice of you thank you we have tried our best to make this session successful and we uh we have learned from past the, the mistakes our mistakes and our lacking and shortcomings so we have tried to cover everything we could uh, possibly possibly for this one and uh, i'm i'm pretty excited for it because uh, uh this is this is going to be a uh, life changing for some students who are participating in this event definitely definitely Look, learning is part of our life as a pharmacist we we learn every day so as you know if you work as a professional pharmacist after your education don't think that you you'll stop learning so learning is every day uh whatever you said that's pretty pretty much all right and uh, uh i am pretty sure that there are new students who are actually watching uh who have not come across with this kind of session before uh so i would like them to be relaxed have your notebooks on have your pens on and make as many as notes as you possible because if you make notes then you can tell to someone else like to tell your friends who may be not here and that will actually go into your mind more easily and more comfortably that you can take action on that so uh, this is not a lecture that i'm going to talk this is like interactive section and it could be life changing even for some people who may be taking this very seriously Yes absolutely sure uh and uh, by the way sir you have just upgraded your studio equipments for it <laughs> last time i think uh, i didn't have that mic properly uh, if you remember yeah 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 and um, i'll send you a photo of this uh, small video uh, not video but a photo because uh, i do a lot of webinar every week uh, for uh, awareness of caps because you know uh, in pakistan there's a huge fear of exam that we can't pass the exam so i thought i can take a responsibility so i can kick that fear away from pharmacists in pakistan make it easy process and uh, make it uh, simpler because uh, um, students or even the fresh graduates there are so many questions so many rumors so many wrong information so many out of date information people got and they're actually kills their time and when somebody lose a time that means is money so time is money as you know um, yes, yes sir can i tell you some interesting facts please uh, yes uh, i was just looking at your linkedin profile and i come to know that uh, we have the same school and college uh, i i yes i am from the fadaiya degree college faisal oh my god really okay <laughs> yes yes oh. i'm a junior <laughs> oh, wow this surprise for me this so good you are the, the third pharmacist that i come across who been to the same college or same school and um, i come to know from 2007 badge there was a 2007 badge when i was talking through facebook at that time there was no zoom nothing like that but there were facebook was just introduced at that time so one person who approached me with the same profile as your profile was yes. iya college and university of karachi and he came to australia i interviewed him and he worked with me for 10 years that's and- great <laughs> that could be an opportunity for me as well <laughs> <laughs> so so you have made a connection very deep connection wow that's amazing that's good that's that's how people get to know each other and that small things make people closer yeah hmm. Uh, by the way i want to tell you that the the name of the school has been changed in your time it could be pf shahin school and now it is uh, uh, named as sadaiya degree college faisal yes. i don't know if you remember that or not you are from 1980s that yes, i guess i started schooling in 80s and i finished 88 as a matric student then intermediate finished by 1991 and then i came to university of karachi in 2000 sorry 1993 1997 december i left university of karachi with my final year four year degree 
two years I worked in sales and hospital and this and there. And then I came to Australia in 2003, January. Since then, I'm in Australia as a pharmacist. My wife also with me. We both are pharmacists and uh, love South Australia. Um, South Australia is an amazing place to live and to, to have a working career in South Australia. South Australia is a small part of Australia. Uh, I came to South Australia because... I love cricket and uh, Adelaide Oval is one of the huge attraction for me to come to South Australia to Adelaide. And yeah, I was like I was like saying that you have a very great and deep interest for the cricket. Yes, and... I showed this video to <laughs> Yes, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> you do you are just being yes. the students of 1990s will find. Yeah, so I guess that maybe the if I see the age group of this group that is coming today, they may be okay. somewhere between this time, 1999 or 1997, maybe, maybe falling between. So why not I wear a tie, which is World Cup 99 tie? This is the official tie that I, I have a lot of tie collections uh, from cricket. I got a tie from 1992 World Cup as well, where Imran Khan won the World Cup. I got a souvenir bat from that time as well. So, uh, you know, in Australia, cricket is a huge culture. In Pakistan, we say that cricket is hu huge, but this is a connection point from, from anyone who's coming from Pakistan to Australia. You can make so many friends by just talking about cricket. Either they are not pharmacy profession or either whatever the profession are, but I use cricket as a huge connected connection point in Australia. So you need to connect with people. Uh, so they, they, they are tools. So I use cricket as a tool. Yes, so that's great. That's really amazing. Uh, new information for me, I guess, and uh, new points that we can just connect people with the uh, in with, uh, with, with a game. Like... Yes, sports. And Australia, the sporting culture is, is a huge sporting culture in this country. Uh, as you know, whenever there's an Olympic on, Australian team do very well in all type of sports. The Australian is, Australians are sporting nation. So, okay, shall we start the session? Or... Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, go ahead. I can see quite a many people link up on our YouTube live, and uh, I'm I'm pretty sure there may be more people participating through Zoom as well, as you have given the Zoom link. So, please start the session. I would say, yeah, please go ahead. It's all yours. Okay. I'm I'm here to serve. Yes, okay. Let me just. Okay, Assalamu alaikum everyone and uh, I am Hassan, the manager of research from the Karachi University Pharmacy Science Club and we are very pleased to announce that we have a, a arranged session with Sir uh, Khan Hashmi uh, on a career path to Australia. And uh, let me just brief, uh, give you a brief introduction about our today's host, uh, today's speaker. Ifan Hashmi is a community pharmacist based in Adelaide, Australia from 20 years. He, along with his wife, Sobia Fan, owned seven pharmacies in a regional South Australia and Victoria. He graduated from the University of Karachi in 1997. He moved to Australia in 2003 to further his studies with his young family. In 2009, he was awarded a Pharmacist of the Year by Pharmaceutical Society of Australia, which is a peak national body for a pharmacist. Serving people and being able to play a role in improving people's life, people's life through the right medication is what drives Irfan to do more for this profession. And he believes that it is a passion that makes you a successful pharmacist. Irfan is very proactive when it comes to his role in community. Recently, he did a free flu vaccination drive for those affected by COVID-19 financially and emotionally. The project was very well received. Many community members benefited from his selfless act. He, it was applauded by the local ministers and he received a congr congratulatory letter from the Ministry of Health, South Australia. Won State Awards, South Australian Government Multicultural Award 2021. Won Pharmacy of the Year Award 2022. Won Pharmacist of the Year Award in 2009 by the Pharmaceutical Society of Australia for its innovative pharmacy services in regional South Australia. Pharmacy is a diverse career where you can choose to work in a community pharmacy. Hospitals, nursing homes, or pharmaceutical industry. Guest speaker in two pharmacy conferences for Pakistani pharmacists with Pakistan High Commissioner in Australia, Canberra in January 2023 and September 2020 providing free education to many overseas pharmacists about pathways to Australia. 
weekly webinar and recording in social media channels and YouTube. Okay. So, sir, uh, in order to start our meeting, we have some of the questions uh, regarding to uh, regarding the, the session. The, the most basic of them includes what are the opportunities for working as a pharmacist in Australia and what would be the legal requirements, visa requirements, passport requirements or uh, and work requirements or like work permits or study permits uh, in entering the Australia or working in a, as an, uh, working as a pharmacist in Australia and how can our young pharmacists prepare for appearing in uh, preparing for the exams or appear in the caps examination thank you thank you very much uh, Hassan Bukhari thank you very much for uh, uh, saying some points for my work which actually like an introduction people those who don't know me about my background in Australia I look up uh, as uh, as uh, Hassan mentioned that I work as a community pharmacist and my wife work as a community pharmacist. So I am quite vocal about working in community pharmacy in Australia and especially in regional South Australia or regional Australia. The reason behind that, uh, when you complete your graduation in, in your country, either you're from Pakistan or from any other country, which we say developing country, the scope of pharmacist is actually a little bit missing there. Either we can change some drastic changes in that country and bring the scope up, or we can learn something from a different country and, and, and maybe use that knowledge back to your country. And that's something which I'm passionate. And at the moment, uh, Australian government has uh, introduced some visa options because pharmacists are more uh, available, like, more jobs are available for pharmacists. I would say that in simple words, more jobs are available for pharmacists. Why these jobs are available, you need to understand that why pharmacist work has been increased because of this COVID, recent COVID, uh, pharmacist scope has significantly increased. Where, where used to be one pharmacist work in a pharmacy setting, they now two or one and a half pharmacists is required. And also there are a lot of new opportunities coming for pharmacists to be engaged in community. So that's why we require more pharmacists in Australia. So that is the reason why our Australian government has relaxed their visa policy. In new government, this recent government, which came into power last year, March, 2022. So they have uh, declared a, a policy to fulfill that requirement in Australia. So you need to understand that uh, this was not in past. This, this, these options were not available in past, but at the moment, these options are available. And I always say about these visas for pharmacists are like lottery visa. These are like lottery ticket for you if you complete your graduation and apply for this CAPS exam, pass the CAPS exam, pass the PTE exam. You can apply for Australian work visa or Australian visa, which is called 491 visa. If you please write, write down these two key points that visa 491 visa, which is available for fresh graduates, mean no work experience. One can apply by passing the CAPS exam and can come to Australia to work, to live with you, with yourself or with your partner, or if you're married, or if you're going to be married, you can come along with the family. So that was never ever offered before in past. So that's something you need to understand that why we are doing these webinars again and again, why we're telling this information again and again, reminding everyone that why this is so important that you, as a fresh graduates, as you're going to be completing your degrees this year or maybe next year, then you still have an option to apply for these visas. But you need to prepare yourself right now. You need to prepare mean that uh, you need to have all the information, first of all. You need to be very clear about what documents you need to apply, what information that you need to uh, use in timely manner that you don't have to waste your time, either you're waiting for your degree or you're waiting for your mark sheets. So use your time in a way, in a smart way, that you can progress quickly in that queue to come to Australia, to work in Australia, right? So that's something which uh, I have a few slides which I want to uh, show you. And um, uh, in that slide, you can understand, or maybe you can take a photo of those slides, maybe capture that if maybe, uh, but I would like you to make some notes 
and also share that notes after after this webinar, which will be a huge asset for you uh, for your future plan. Because I know that it's too early. Many people think that it's too early, but it's nothing is early. And uh, uh, if you have spent four years in your pharmacy, you must be busy in your exam and busy in your uh, final year, you know, the picnic and final year uh, passing out program and magazine and this and that. But your future is the key. Why are you actually completing your degree? You look for your future. So if you plan your future right now, then or you document that, those documents, like documenting these plans will actually help you. So you, you can see that document anywhere, maybe put in your room where you get ready, maybe you do your hair dressing table somewhere. So you know that this is my plan for next year in maybe two months or two years, you will take this action. So, all right, so that's something, that's why I'm requesting everyone, either you can record this or either you can uh, document it like in your notebook. All right, so I'll just go back to my slide. I'll share my slide, which I have shown in my previous webinars to previous students as well. Uh, that's a pretty straightforward information, but when I show this to you, you can understand why it's important. All right, so just give me a second. I'll just have that slide on and I'll share the slide with you. Hassan, is that all right with you? Is that is that all good? Yes, everything is amazing, good, and I'm understanding. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I'll just share my screen. Okay, so title of this slide is that Pharmacist Pathway to Australia and scope and opportunities for a Pakistani-based pharmacist coming to Australia, work in Australia. All right, so this is just the title. This is about me. Uh, I'm an entrepreneur pharmacist, as uh, Hassan has already described. I'll go to the next one. The outline of this small presentation is about telling you the authorities involved in regulation of pharmacy profession in Australia. So there are a lot of regulatory bodies involved. Uh, mean that uh, you may have uh, come across that in Pakistan, you have a pharmacy council, you may have a pharmacy association. Uh, so if you understand, if you are in Australia, let's say you are in Australia today, you have your degree and you are in Australia today. So what things you need to know? What bodies that you need to be connected or get the approvals so that you need to understand what does it mean by regulatory bodies of this pharmacy profession in Australia. Okay, and journey of overseas pharmacists in Australia, that's, I will tell you, uh, time and cost involved in passing the exam and registration process as a pharmacist in Australia to work as a pharmacist or a community pharmacist. All right, and um, different areas of practice, I will go with that very quickly. And some plans for 2023 and 2024. There's a lot of planning going on in pharmacy profession at the moment. A lot of jobs, new jobs are coming to pharmacist profession. I will talk about that as well. Currently, at the moment, pharmacists require at least 3,500 pharmacists or pharmacy staff in our regional pharmacy sites of Australian community pharmacy. That was declared by Pharmacy Guild Australian president, who actually was a guest speaker in our High Commissioner, Pakistani High Commissioner or Pakistani Embassy Pharmacy Conference. She was the first speaker and she declared over there. And that was actually said into the media as well, in Pakistan media as well. A lot of time, there were four or five news channels declared that pharmacists can go and work in Australia because they got 3,500 jobs available in regional Australia. So that's the future plan. That's the current position and there are more jobs are coming. So I will talk about the future plan and scope and opportunities of pharmacies in rural regional Australia. So you need to understand that where are the jobs? When you go to come to Australia, you need to know now that where you're going to work. You're not going to work in Sydney or you're not going to work in Melbourne. You need to know where these jobs you will find. 
if you not clear about this the direction right now you will be misguided you will think that oh sir far or many people have said there are a lot of scopes available for pharmacists but i'm in sydney with my cousin or my brother lives in sydney but i'm in sydney i can't find a job what the hell is going on they have turned they have given us the wrong information but you need to know right now where the jobs are so how to find those jobs the jobs are in regional rural areas of australia not in the big city so you need to clear that right now before starting this journey all right okay <clears throat> okay so first body for any pharmacist coming from outside of the world to australia they have to contact this body called apc australian pharmacy council so australian pharmacy council will be the first protocol for you people to go on their website and have some understanding so there are two three two or three different types of category they have people coming from usa uk new zealand or canada they categorize them in 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 one category and all other pharmacists from other part of the world they categorize into a another category all right so for people from pakistan you need to understand that they say kaps is the exam which is stream a category where we or someone like you sitting there they need to go with that process which is called knowledge assessment of pharmaceutical science so what is caps exam is caps exam is basically a knowledge assessment of your undergraduate qualification as compared to australian university qualification that's so simple this is not a board exam this is not a license exam no so you need to be very very clear very very specific this is the exam of what you studying here in your university if you pass that exam that means your qualification is good and equal to an australian graduate as if you're coming from a university of melbourne as if you're coming from university of adelaide pharmacist if you pass that you come to the level straight okay so that's so easy and in terms of value i'll explain to you in the dollars value as well if you study here in australian university right now for your four year or five year you will be spending a student will be spending at least 100000 dollars to complete your qualification in australia so you can imagine you guys students are completing their undergraduate in pakistan if you come to the level and pass the caps exam your qualification will be equally good as that 100000 dollar value of your university degree in australia which is equivalent to 2 2 crore rupees if you convert 100000 into straight into pakistani conversion which is equal to 2 crore rupees so you can imagine this information can change your life if you do this exam many people think that oh caps is expensive caps is this or that caps is cheap caps fee is nothing 1310 dollars look big at the moment 20 uh, i'll go over the fees in the next slide okay so next body is pharmacy board of australia so after doing the caps and this and that your next protocol is to meet with the board of pharmacy board of pharmacy run through regulatory bodies where when you pass the caps exam when you do the pte english exam then you do this uh, uh uh paperwork sent to pharmacy board of australia or apra we call it australian pharmacy regulatory body this body australian health practitioner regulatory agency so write down this name ahpra so after passing caps after passing pte you need to talk to apra people while you don't have a visa or you have a visa you need to fill a form and apply to get your provisional registration while you are in pakistan so you can do these three steps while you are in pakistan is it is it simple to understand is it clear i think i'm talking very simple english i can say in this urdu as well if you wish yeah i could understand that that's good i hope everyone is with me all right so you're making notes so first you do the caps you do the pte and then you come to apra and send your documentation for apra provisional registration three steps and by doing the caps exam if i go back to the slide which is this one your degree from university of karachi doing the caps exam will become equivalent to that australian qualification 
which I gave you the values already. So you know that um, you can gain, anyone can gain that high amount of value by investing your time into caps and passing the caps. So it's a straight jump in your next 12 months that your degree will be equivalent to Australian pharmacy graduation. So simple. And once you do that, nobody will ask you that where you come from. What is the background? I'm a pharmacist in Australia. Nobody asked me where you graduated right now. I'm a pharmacist. I'm an opera registered pharmacist. So simple. Nobody will ask you. Th that our, our skin color, our accent will, will remain same. But if we do something good in this country, you will have a strong weightage on it. If you do some innovative work in this country, which I'm very proud to say that pharmacists from Australia can do a lot of things in Australia. Pharmacists from Pakistan are highly hardworking pharmacists. Pharmacists from Pakistan are good English-speaking pharmacists. All right, they just need to change a little bit about the accent in Australia. That's what you need to do. That's what you need to do. All right, ethically hardworking people from, from Pakistan. And many, many have done some remarkable work in this country. Graduate from Pakistan, graduate from University of Karachi, graduate from Bahawalpur University, graduate from Gomal University. I know so many pharmacists who are here in, in Australia practicing and they're doing some amazing work in this country. All right, so if they can do it, you can do it as well. So simple. All right. And, and, and this era is most modern era at the moment. You have YouTube, you have TikTok, you have so much fast paced information coming at the moment about, about getting the latest information, about getting the latest trend. In my time, there was no iPhone. There was no, uh, hardly no, no, no WhatsApp, no, uh, when we need to talk to our mentors, it's very hard to find someone who can guide at that time. People don't even bother to other people. Don't people, they're like, they don't give time. If you need to contact someone who passed the CAPS exam, we call them, they say, don't call me right now. Call me after two weeks on Sunday, 6 p.m. So that was the scenario that we have faced. But at the moment, I'm talking to you live at the moment from Australia, giving you the information in your final year. So imagine that. How much easy is that at the moment for you to get this first set information? When I came to Australia, I was not aware about these information. All right. It took me a lot of time, a lot of efforts to understand this, to, to meet so many people to get this information. Now I have a presentation ready for you. You can take a photo, you can make your notes. All right. So I'll go for the next slide. And uh, so we have seen what is opera. This is just a journey of a pharmacist, which probably I have explained to you in three steps, very simple. So these three steps are very important for you. If you want to take a photo, that's fine. You can take a photo of this slide. <laughs> okay, let's talk about money. What money is required for CAPS? P, the initial documentation that you require once you complete your uh, mark sheet, complete your qualification. At least if you have your mark sheet ready and if you have your degree ready, you can start this process of, which is called documentation for evaluation of skill assessment qualification. In that documentation, you require uh, to pay a 1310 Australian dollars, which is equivalent to, I think, two lakh something rupiah, Pakistani. And in document, education document, only the scanned documents are required. Okay, so please write it down that no attestation, they don't need attested document. CAPS is very friendly because they have built a smart system at, at their office. When you're putting your application in, uh, when you select your university, like University of Karachi, they know who is University of Karachi. They know everything about every university in Pakistan. So they, they make it very easy process. Uh, you need to make your profile. You can create a profile right now. You can do it right now, but you can't supply the doc degree at the moment because you have to complete your undergraduation and you have to uh, get your performer of five years and you have to at least get your degree and then you need to get that third thing which is evidence of your registration but for evidence of registration i have another solution which i have made a special video where uh under process letter can be used to upload and get this process in 
and you need to have a valid passport, a photograph, and two other documentation for your ID identification pur pur purpose. Uh, CNIC, you can use CNIC document. And also if you have a driving license, that you can also use at the three ID documents. All right, so three ID documents and three documents for uh, submission of this uh, CAPS assessment after, after when you finish your degree, all right? And that's $1,310. It says that it says three to six months, but at the moment, eight weeks to 12 weeks, they do the assessment and give you the permission that we have checked your documents, you have, we have checked your degree, now you are eligible to sit in the exam, all right? So CAPS exam, which is, the exam now available. A good news is that in Pakistan, the CAPS exam is available. In Pakistan, 2020, before 2020, this exam was not happening. So we push, push, push and request the CAPS introduce their exam in Jan March, 2020. Since then, this exam is happening for every year, three times a year, March, July, and November. So every March they do this exam worldwide. And then second one is uh, in July, in November. So if, if your timeline, if you talk about your timeline as a student, if you talk about your prospect, if you're completing your, for example, your final year exam, let's say January, 2024. And if you receive your mark sheets by, let's say April, 2024, you can plan easily for November, 24 exam, or maybe July, 24 exam in Pakistan. In Pakistan, there are three exam centers at the moment. One is, uh, two are in Islamabad, three days, and one in Lahore at the moment. I'm trying my best to get a center approved in Karachi, but uh, um, I need some help from students in Karachi that, okay, they need an evidence that how many are willing to sit in Karachi. So I will circulate a survey with students of universities in Karachi that if I can get collect a positive answer from those who are really, really serious and want to do the CAPS exam in Karachi, for example, in, in November 24, sorry, November uh, 23 uh, or March 24 or July 24, you need to just tick one box, put your name, put your email and submit the button in survey. That's how I will have that information. I, will, I can show the uh, APC that this, this information is valid. And if they want to verify, they can email back to you. Or maybe I will request that if you are really, really dead sure, if you want to burn your boats to Australia, if you want to come to Australia, definitely, then I would like you to write an email to CAPS and say that, look, I'm a very serious candidate for CAPS. I want to appear CAPS exam, let's say July 24. And I want to be happy or I will be happy if you allow us to do the exam in Karachi. So if we have, let's say, if you have 100 people, really, really motivated 100 people and they receive the notification from email and from this survey, they can have a center on for you guys in Karachi. So easy. I have done the similar exercise two months ago where I was successful in getting two more centers. One was in Lahore and second was one in Islamabad. So we use the Twitter, we use the email option, we use the survey option, and we sell, we gave the data to APC or Student Pharmacy Council, and they acknowledged that because they were receiving, they were receiving emails like three emails in a week from my network students who were really, really bothered that we want to give exam. We don't want to wait to, and there were so many so much panic going on at the time that some of the students in Pakistan, they book exam center in Dubai because they were unable to get a seat in Islamabad because they only have one center at the time. Okay, so some of them have booked for Dubai that they were, they want to give the exam in July this year, but now we have three centers. So they have relocated that booking from Dubai to back to Islamabad or back to Lahore. So that's a huge saving for anyone. Before 2020, all the pharmacists who came to Australia, they didn't appear in the exam in Pakistan. They were all going to Dubai. In 20, 2008, I think, I remember, uh, 2008, um, when Benazir Bhutto uh, assassination happened, I think that was the last time when CAPS was conducted in Pakistan. After that, they banned the exam in Pakistan for 12 years, unfortunately. Uh, but now is all happening. So it's a golden opportunity for 
for pharmacist or pharmacy student to pursue for Australian career. All right, so I think that's quite a long discussion about this exam. Uh, exam fee is very important. 2230 Australian dollars. Whatever the conversion rate is, conversion rate is, uh, you need to do the mass. I think 185 uh, is the conversion rate at the moment. And uh, so there are two papers. They do two papers, like 100 question, uh, sorry, two, uh, I think 100 and 100, yes. So there are two hour exam in the morning and two hour exam in the afternoon. So uh, that's what you need to do, like 100 questions uh, in each exam. And uh, as I said, conducted three times a year. And uh, exam centers are all over the world. Uh, European students, they do give exam in London, in Turkey. But we are talking to the Pakistani audience, so we're going to focus just on Pakistan exam center. Uh, all right, uh, so this is just a approximate dates of the exam. It's not relevant. As I said, there are exam center all around the world. If anyone listening from uh, who, are, who are not in Pakistan, they are the exam center which you can target as well. All right, but it's not relevant for University of Karachi students. At the moment, it says Islamabad, but the current list is two in Islamabad and one in Lahore. This is the old slide, all right? The current slide, I can share the current addresses of the exam center as well uh, later on in, in, in my, if you connect with me. All right, uh, uh, so after doing the CAPS, what you need to do? When you complete your CAPS, when you do the APRA provisional registration, you need to do a one-year internship, which is a paid internship, paid internship. You will get money. Uh, as soon as you arrive in Australia, you start working in Australia, you will get money, uh, which is approximately uh, the salaries of intern pharmacies. Please write it down. Very important for everyone to understand that how much significant it will change your life. $50,000, $50,000 a year, a package is offered to the intern pharmacist, which is approximately 4000 Australian dollar per month before tax. Okay, before tax. So that's a huge uh, jump for any Pakistani pharmacist who want to work in Australia, who did the CAF, who did the CAFs, who did the PTE, and come and work in regional Australia and get that sort of money as compared to if they qualify and keep working in, in Pakistan. I'm not saying that I'm doing a brain drain here, but I'm just saying that this is the comparison that one can gain or achieve in the first year when they come to Australia. All right. Is it is it is it clear to everyone? Yeah, but achhi lagi aapko ya kaisi lagi aapko? Please mujhe bataiye. Chidi sir achhi hai. Achhi hai. Aur isko lene ke liye kitne hami honge aaj ke is show ke andar hamare saath jo jude hain. Okay, okay, that's nice to know. Um, so koi chat box mein koi response dega, koi yes or no mein, koi hamen please. Sattar log hain hamare saath is sab group ke andar aur bahut saare hamare saath YouTube pe bhi hain is sab. मैं जरा यस देखना चाहता हूं कि कोई हमारी बात को सुन के समझ भी रहा है या सिर्फ कोई म्यूजिक सुन रहा है या कोई अपनी कोई गाने वाने सुन रहा है YouTube ऑन करके या Zoom ऑन करके तो चैट बॉक्स में मैं देखता हूं कितने यस आ गए हैं और कितने नो आ गए हैं नो कितने नो देयर आर अराउंड 55 टू 56 मैसेजेस सेइंग यस अप टिल नाउ माशाल्लाह वेरी गुड सो एवरीवन इज looking to burn their boats basically this is what i see as jab aap taiyar kar lete hain na ki maine caps ki fees de di assessment ki 1310 dollar to main unko kehta hu ki yaar aapne na apni board jala di hain apni board jala di hain aapne aage hamla karna hai aage wale plan mein jana hai aapne to to jab ye aap achieve kar lete hain ki jo assessment wali baat hai jo hamari flight mein abhi main dikha raha tha aapko तो ये वाली जो चीज है 1310 डॉलर करके आप जब आ जाते हैं तो हमने उनको फिर स्टडी ग्रुप में देना होता है जगह और स्टडी ग्रुप में वही बंदे आते हैं जो अपनी बोर्ड्स रन करके बन करके आ चुके होते हैं तो मेंटली तौर पे अगर आप मोटिवेटेड हैं तो यू कैन पास द एग्जाम नॉट अ बिग डील ठीक है तो ये छोटी सी बात हो गई थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर द रिस्पांस Four nine visa fresh graduate without about others. Uh, uh, I will answer that question, Maryam. Thank you for the question. Uh, conducted an exam. What about the questions are conducted? Yes, I will go with the question. Not an issue. I will I will tell all the answers. 
keep keep the box going on with the chat questions. I will respond. Not a problem. I got all the answers for you today. Okay. So uh, this slide, I have shown you quite a bit. I have just shown you one important slide. That is scope and opportunities for pharmacies in rural regional Australia. Okay. The demand. I spoke about the demand. Why we need more pharmacists? Because COVID has extended the scope of practice. COVID has bring COVID vaccines in pharmacy. COVID has bring the travel vaccines in pharmacy. And also, um, there are a lot more work coming because doctors were serving patients from their clinics on phone, like telehealth. But pharmacists were working face-to-face -face in the pharmacies. That's why government has given them a lot more work lot more scope of work. The calm that are part of those go home simple the demand may have a get a scope but yeah work ka. scope of pharmacy you have a burger yeah with a calm but yeah pharmacist car a calm burning amount of yeni yeah ke hum run a sugar they are calm but I am a paper of but I deal again is me who she give out the key pharmacist he acceptability you have or burger yeah trust or burger yeah pharmacist guy Australian kiss on the ticket to up to your satisfaction level in a will be up cup but I got a key a I can help that patient with their medicine. I can help the patient. I can help my patient with the vaccine. I can help them with the flu vaccine. I can pr pr provide them sleep apnea service. Uh, and I can provide, uh, uh, the future is for prescribing rights coming to the pharmacists as well. So that's something very big happening in, in this country. Pharmacists are getting training to become prescriber like doctors. Okay, so that's the future looks like that's the bright side of this future in Australia that looks for the community pharmacy. Okay, the community pharmacy you have will be the Hasha. May I get on a revolutionary work? Hey, revolution or yes, can there if it changes or in a nature is a area. The mass industry may I thought is the trust all over the day. It's all over. जब मैंने काम शुरू किया था तो उस वक्त का काम और आज का काम इज अ ह्यूज डिफरेंस ठीक है जिसको चेंज पसंद है उसको मजा आएगा इस पे काम करने का जिसको चेंज पसंद नहीं है जिसको एक वो कहते हैं ना कि मोनोटोनस काम करने का शौक है वो इस प्रोफेशन से भाग जाएगा तो याद रखिएगा हु इज रेडी फॉर चैलेंज हु इज रेडी फॉर न्यू थिंग्स हु इज रेडी फॉर न्यू एक्साइटिंग थिंग्स इन द प्रोफेशन दिस इज फॉर यू Okay, if this is not for you, you can leave now. So that's something which I say to everyone because huge excitement. Okay, uh, demand of pharmacists in region. I will go back to my slide. Aapko many slides are there. Hopefully, if you can see my slide. Okay, demand for pharmacists in um, maybe I'll a very slight uh, kaam khatam hota ja raha uh, Demand of pharmacists in regional Australia ki maine baat ki hai ki jobs jo hai wo regional Australia mein. ठीक है रीजनल ऑस्ट्रेलिया का मतलब ये नहीं है कि आपको किसी जंगल में छोड़ देंगे रीजनल ऑस्ट्रेलिया का हरगिस ये मतलब नहीं है कि आप लोगों जो हैं वो जंगली जो लोग होते हैं ऑस्ट्रेलिया के एबोरिजिनी जिसको कहते हैं उनको आप देखेंगे उनसे उनकी زبان सीखेंगे और उनसे बात करेंगे इसका मतलब नहीं है ऑस्ट्रेलिया इज अ बिग कंट्री ऑस्ट्रेलिया इज अ बिग एग्रीकल्चर कंट्री बिग लैंड इतना बड़ा लैंड है इनके पास कि हमारे पाकिस्तान के अगर हम ऐसे करके उठाएं तो तीन चार पाकिस्तान उसमें फिट हो सकते हैं अगर लैंड का अगर हम कंपैरिजन करें लैंड बहुत है इनके पास खाली पड़ा लैंड इनका एग्रीकल्चर लैंड है और इतनी ज्यादा इनके पास एग्रीकल्चर की अपॉर्चुनिटीज हैं इस वजह से लोग दूर-दूर रहते हैं यहां छोटे-छोटे जगहों पे रहते हैं तो वो जो छोटे गांव हैं वो भी जो हैं वो ऑस्ट्रेलिया का समझे पार्ट है दे हैव ऑल द फैसिलिटी दे गॉट एनबीएन दे गॉट ऑल द फैसिलिटीज ठीक है लेकिन वो दूर होते हैं तो इन दूर एरियाज में भी तो दवाइयां देनी है ना तो वहां जाके हमारे खपत जो है वो ज्यादा है ठीक है अब ये ना समझना कि आप बलूचिस्तान पहुंच गए काम करने जहां पे ना आपको पानी मिलेगा ना साफ पानी ऐसा कुछ नहीं है ठीक है हर तरफ रोड्स हैं हर तरफ बिजली की आसानी है कोई लाइट वाइट नहीं जाती है यहां पे आप मजे से आप अच्छी गाड़ी यूज कर सकते हैं यहां पे I think maybe option is that I have to mute all of Click one button and let's see if everyone go on mute. Uh, um, okay, okay. Um, so I was talking about lifestyle benefit. 
and amenities and support available in regional Australia. Uh, I'm a witness in front of you that I have worked in regional Australia all of my life. Okay, so I have worked in very remote areas of Australia and uh, uh, I never come across that I'm underprivileged by any, any way. I got the police available, I got the hospital service available, I got all the best cricket grounds available, nets available to play cricket in regional Australia. Um, and always when you represent the regional Australia at any forum in Australian conferences, you have an upper hand, you have a huge upper hand on other professionals, other pharmacists, because you, you have more scope, you have more experience than any other pharmacist. So that's the beauty of regional rural pharmacists. All right, so you're getting my point? It's not the beauty that you live in Sydney at Sydney Harbour and, and you will have, no, it's like opposite. So is it clear to everyone? So is it very clear about the regional Australian work, work sites? Yes. Or yes. you have still have some doubts? I have uh, some pharmacists sitting here, their relatives in Australia, they're also working in regional Australia, I know them. Uh, because of privacy, I'm not disclosing all the information, but I know uh, this, this is very important for you to understand that, uh, that uh, coming to Australia is not just about coming to Sydney or coming to Perth or coming to Melbourne for work purpose. If you go to the road, you can go Mustang, sports car, you can go to Australia. But you can go to work. But many people who come here, they just uh, think that hey, my relative lives in Sydney, I'm going to go there. When I'm introducing them, they know that they don't know how we need to work in Australia. उनको समझ नहीं आती है तो ये समझना बहुत क्रिटिकल है उसी तरह जिस तरह कैप्स के बारे में मैंने आपको समझाया कि वे आर द जॉब्स आर इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट और ये एक सारी लाइफ आपने नहीं लेना रीजन के अंदर आपने शुरू के तीन चार साल लेना है अपने आप को ग्रो करना है अपने आप को डेवलप करना है और फिर आपने आपको स्टेबल करना है एंड देन यू कैन गो अराउंड एनीवे इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया इफ यू वांट इफ यू आपको अच्छा लगता है जिस तरह मुझे अच्छा लगा आई नेवर कम टू सिटी फॉर बिजनेस फॉर एटलीस्ट 15 years, लेकिन बाद में मैंने बच्चों की वजह से मुझे शायद चेंज करना पड़ा जब मेरे बच्चे बड़े हुए यूनिवर्सिटी के लिए तो दैट्स द ओनली रीजन अभी भी मेरे कंट्री में बिजनेस है अभी भी मैं काम करता हूँ अभी भी मैं गाड़ी चला के जाता हूँ काम पे ठीक है तो इसके अलावा दो और पाथवेज हैं जो कि मैं थोड़ा सा बात करूंगा उस पर क्योंकि वो पाथवेज जो है वो फार्मेसी टेक्नीशियन के हैं जिसके लिए आपको एक्सपीरियंस होना चाहिए तीन चार साल का आफ्टर योर डिग्री विच इज नॉट रियली रिलेवेंट डायरेक्टली फॉर यू एंड कुछ इंडस्ट्रियल फार्मासिस्ट के पाथवे हैं वो भी उनके लिए जो जिनके पास इंडस्ट्री का एक्सपीरियंस है तीन चार साल का जो कि आपके लिए अभी इतना रेलिवेंट नहीं है क्योंकि आप सारे यूनिवर्सिटीज में हैं तो यूनिवर्सिटी वालों के लिए जो मैजिकल टाइम है वो ये कि आप कैप्स को फोकस करें कैप्स को पास करें आफ्टर योर डिग्री विद आवर एक्सपीरियंस विद आवर एनी थिंग यू कैन अप्लाई फॉर फोर नाइन वन वीजा और इज दैट क्लियर टू यू गाइज आई होप आई हैव एक्सप्लेन दिस big chunk of thing in a, in a, in a, in a 15 20 minute session yes sir um yes sir alhamdulillah clear okay aapko main ek slide thodi si quickly dikhana chahunga jisme visa ki baat main aapko batana chahunga that's very important for you uh, for everyone to understand ke visa kaun sa milega क्या हमें कोई इम्प्लॉयर स्पॉन्सर करेगा कैप्स के बाद या हमें कोई कोई कौन अनम्यूट के साथ बातें कर रहा है ऑप्शन आई कैन डू दैट थैंक यू हसन आई कैन डू दैट दैट्स ऑल फिक्स नाउ ओके प्लीज कीप यू क्या हम इनको हटा दें ग्रुप से क्योंकि वो दो दफा अनम्यूट कर चुके हैं ठीक है लेट्स 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 गिव देम अ चांस ओके ओके आई एम जस्ट शोइंग यू वन मोर स्लाइड एट द मोमेंट व्हिच इज दिस वन आई एम जस्ट शेयरिंग माय स्क्रीन ओके ओके आपको ये स्क्रीन नजर आ रही है जिसमें मेरी तस्वीर और मेरी वाइफ की तस्वीर सो गई हम दोनों कराची यूनिवर्सिटी के ग्रेजुएट हैं ठीक है हम लोग यहाँ इतने सालों से काम करते हैं हमारे जो 
stores and the places that we, that we work is all in regional Australia. So these are all regional sites in regional South Australia, Oruru, Kaun, Cougar PD, and the Health Safe Victoria. Baki is with those states. Uh, and I have shown slide. If you want to contact me in the future, so this is a slide which is very important. If you want to take a photo of this one, uh, which you can connect me with the, with my educational program uh, from LinkedIn. Just uh, Hassan has checked LinkedIn and he connected Then he connected. YouTube channel is very active for, for guidance purpose. Uh, TikTok, I use TikTok, which is the most advanced, fast-paced information to disclose information, some breaking news. Uh, and uh, Facebook page, I made some Facebook page. I made, I made Facebook group as well. When you search for a few years, there is no one there in Australia who can guide you on pharmacist, for as a Pakistani pharmacist. So I find a need that there should be someone So I just create a group. Pakistani pharmacists in Australia. If you search, you can come and you can join that group and latest information you can get. A lot of exam information, a lot of information about your you to know at this stage now. So you can join that Facebook group as well. Either you can join my Facebook page or maybe join our Australian pharmacist uh, group. Um, Twitter is very important. As I explained to you, the significance of Twitter, you connect with right people in Australia and you get updated information from APC, from Prime Minister of Australia, from Premier, from Health Minister. So these these are and, and Instagram also. So these are all information which I tools which I use to give information uh, to our uh, friends who actually want to come to Australia. So please have these accounts, please have these link up with me so you will get all the updated information for me. If I take a photo of this one, okay. I'll go for the visa site, okay. As a, as a fresh graduate, what visa option is available for you at the moment? So if you please take a look at this top visa, which is called 190 skill nominated subclass 190 visa. And the last bottom visa, which is called 491 skilled worker regional provisional visa for state and nominated territory. So these two visas are actually relevant for you to apply when you pass the CAPS and when you do the English exam. Okay, so you, you just need to focus on these two visas, which are available at the moment. Okay, visa ki baat aye. So I want to show you some evidence. Ke ye, ye baat kahan se mein kar raho, uh, this is a document which, uh, which I have uh, downloaded from Australian Human Affairs website. Um ki history thodi si batana chaunga mein aapko. Uh, मार्च 22 में मार्च 22 में नई गवर्नमेंट ने सर्वे किया कि हमारे पास कितनी जॉब्स खाली हैं ऑस्ट्रेलिया में क्योंकि वर्कफोर्स शॉर्टेज बहुत बड़ा एक प्रॉब्लम रहा है यहां पे अभी तक है तो उन्होंने जब सर्वे किया तो दे कम अक्रॉस दैट दे आर 500,000 जॉब्स कैन बी फिल्ड इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया स्पेशली इन रीजनल ऑस्ट्रेलिया 5 लाख जॉब्स डिफरेंट प्रोफेशन में फार्मासिस्ट में नहीं डिफरेंट प्रोफेशन में जो कि खाली हैं जो कि हमें जरूरत है लोगों को चाहे वो अब ऑस्ट्रेलिया के ऑस्ट्रेलिया के आ, आ, लोगों से फिलअप करें चाहे वो बंदे ना मिल सकें तो वो बाहर के लोगों को बुलाएं तो उन्होंने ये फैसला किया मैं बहुत सिंपल अल्फाज में बता रहा हूं बहुत आसान लफ्जों में बता रहा हूं डॉक्यूमेंट में ये लिखा हुआ है कि 5 लाख जॉबें भरनी है हमको हम बाहर से लोगों को लाएंगे 2.5 लाख लोगों को तो इसमें 2.5 लाख वीजे की बात की गई है इसमें 250,000 visas जो हैं वो दे रहे हैं इन 12 महीने में मतलब कि 2023 में और 2024 में तो क्या आप लेना चाहेंगे वो visa उनसे या नहीं लेना चाहेंगे अगर आप smart होंगे तो आप लेना चाहेंगे और Australia आना चाहेंगे आपके लिए सारी चीजें बता दी गई हैं कि caps कर लो भाई university से बाहर आ रहे हो कोई experience नहीं चाहिए कुछ नहीं चाहिए 491 visa क और वेस्टर्न ऑस्ट्रेलिया स्टेट्स ये तो दो स्टेट के नाम जरूर लिखें क्योंकि ये दो स्टेट आपको वेलकम करेंगी बाकी सारी स्टेट्स अभी नहीं वेलकम करेंगी क्योंकि आपके पास वर्क एक्सपीरियंस नहीं है तो विदाउट वर्क एक्सपीरियंस वेस्टर्न ऑस्ट्रेलियन गवर्नमेंट जो है और विक्टोरियन गवर्नमेंट जो है विक्टोरिया जो है स्टेट का नाम है जहां पे मेलबर्न कैपिटल सिटी है और वेस्टर्न ऑस्ट्रेलिया जो है उसका कैपिटल सिटी का नाम पर्थ है तो इन दोनों के वेबसाइट्स को आपने कनेक्ट करना है और अगर आप मेरे सारे सोशल मीडिया पे कनेक्टेड होंगे तो आपको कहीं ढूंढने-ढूंढने की चीजों की जरूरत नहीं है क्योंकि आई विल डिस्पर्स दिस इंफॉर्मेशन ऑन माय सोशल मीडिया ऑल द टाइम 
So you don't need to search here and there. My LinkedIn profile, my Facebook page, my uh, TikTok page always have these news is coming in. Okay. Or if there's a new state that jump in it, that regional uh, sites pe, without experience, as he will start, I'll break the news on his own sites. Okay. So this is the thing. You have to apply to your category because you have to apply to retail pharmacy wale category. Mein, hai? So this number is important. Hai, 251513, which is the skill cover visa, hai, ye jo, ye jo inka nominated visa, ye bhi aapke liye important. Okay. So this is the thing. I have told you that 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 Multicultural communities of Australia, which is a body here, which is multicultural. We are multicultural. We count in multicultural. Okay, our culture is Islam, our culture is Pakistani, we speak Urdu, or we speak all languages, we speak all languages, or we speak Sindhi, or Punjabi, so they are different from the multicultural community in this country. So that's why this association is very important for us. Besides, the International Pharmaceutical Federation, you know, you have to know about pharmacy, padte, so you, I'm expecting that you should know this FIP. What is FIP is? You can even join this FIP right now while you're studying as a student in your university. This is available for any student worldwide, FIP. Okay? And uh, different medical associations in South Australia, ke andar, Pakistani Medical Association is very active. Hai. वो इसलिए बनाई जाती है कि आपको लोगों से मिलना लोगों से नेटवर्क करना आपको आसान हो सके कॉन्फ्रेंसेस होती हैं जरूर से जाना चाहिए मुझे स्पोर्ट्स का बहुत शौक है तो मैं साउथ ऑस्ट्रेलियन स्पोर्ट्स मेडिसिन ऑस्ट्रेलिया का मेंबर भी हूं क्योंकि मेरा स्पेशल इंटरेस्ट है स्पोर्ट्स के अंदर मैं स्पोर्ट्स ट्रेनर भी हूं मैं स्पोर्ट्स कोच भी हूं और बाकी क्रिकेट ऑस्ट्रेलिया ये बातें तो सारी आने के बात की है लेकिन जस्ट फॉर ओवरव्यू के इसमें आप क्या-क्या पार्टिसिपेट कर सकते हैं तो आ, ये क्वेश्चन मेरे पास मैं थोड़ा सा आ, लेना चाहूंगा या क्वेश्चन मैं देख लेता हूं जो क्वेश्चंस हमारे पास अभी तक आ चुके हैं तो आई विल जस्ट आंसर दोस क्वेश्चंस उस पे सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन मेरे ख्याल से दो दफा या तीन दफा एक ही सवाल को पूछा गया है कि हमें बुक्स बताइए हमें मटेरियल बताइए हमें चैनल बताइए कि कहां से तैयारी करनी है ठीक है देखिए सारी तैयारी जो है वो नाम किया है मैंने एक सलूशन आई हैव क्रिएटेड अ सलूशन फॉर फॉर दोस हु वांट टू बी कनेक्टेड विद मी इन इन डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ग्रुप्स इन स्टडी पार्ट I just need to mute uh, uh, this pharmacist, uh, Mariam Siddiqui, because I'm trying to mute and they're unmuting themselves. Uh, I'm not sure why. Excuse me, Ms. Mariam Siddiqui. If you are listening to me, please keep your mic mute because there's a distortion coming. Okay, that's fine. Um, uh, look for... For study purpose, this is a very important question for everyone who's who's with us today in the in the webinar. Uh, that how are we going to pass this exam? Those who have experience, those who have done uh, uh, hard part of their life, they worked, they graduated, they apply for caps, uh, and they are connected with me, and they provide me a interview, video interview by saying their goals, by saying their how they're going to mix with Australian culture. And, and, and they are really nearly ready to work in Australia. So that's kind of uh, level that I have given to my group members and who achieve that level, I bring them to a study group, which I named as elite group. Elite group is that group, which actually for those who have done the caps and suspend and who has seriously, seriously looking to take participation in with other candidates who are sitting and doing the exam for July this year. For 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 a student like you, uh, I have a heart to help everyone. And I have uh, spoken to one 
young fourth year or final year student two, three days ago, or maybe last week, where I identified that, uh, that uh, they also can get benefit by studying with me. Uh, so they need to be looked after. They need to be given information. So I just come up with an idea that I will create, I have created a group which is for students and fresh graduates to study this exam, to pass the exam. So you are welcome to come to that group. Okay, but you need to fulfill a protocol criteria. You need to show me that you are very, very serious because time is money for me and for you as well. All right. And, and when you come to the group, don't just sit in the group, participate. Participate means that talk with other people that you have done this. Give one hour, at least one hour of your time of that study. That because if you give one hour, it's hell of a easy for you to pass the CAPS exam through this information that I'm going to give in the group. Those who are in my elite group, they've been given a target of three months or two months, five year study, sorry, five hour study daily. As compared to your situation where your exam will be like after maybe a year. So if you give one hour daily, but consistency is important. If you cannot give one hour every day, if let's say at least three hours in a week, do your own checks, do your own assessment, because I'm not a tutor. I'm not going to tutor you. I'm not going to, I'll, I will just guide you that look, take this bunch of 18 pages, read those 500 questions, and discuss with other friends that I have gone through with these 500 questions. What are what is your opinion? Have you done that? Have you done this? Have you done that? So these kind of discussion happen in my elite group. And I call my elite group as a warrior group because they have a mission to pass the exam. They are not, they are not, they're not, they are not fear, they don't have any fear of failing the exam. First of all, whoever come to the group, they need to come with a mindset, very clear mindset. Okay, someone just put a link. I don't give a link. I recruit people in the group. So there will be no link given to anyone. I will recruit students. They will need to supply that information, fulfill that protocol, and I will check their mindset. Are they ready to come into the, into the group? That's very important. It's not a group where you just come and sit there. No, no, no. Is is a life-changing event. We are talking about life-changing event at the moment. All right. Uh, those who enter in my elite group, they come with so much energy, so much mindset that if I share you one introduction of a elite group, a new elite group, you will be bamboozled that what the hell this pharmacist is talking about? What sort of energy this guy got it? As if they are fearless that they have conquered something. They even haven't started the training yet. So you can imagine when they're going to pass the training, when they're going to finish the training, when they're going to pass the exam, how much happy they would be. So I'm distributing the happiness at the moment by doing, by doing this lecture. Because you're getting progress through this step. So when a human being do progress, that makes them happy. We, we get happy because we buy a new phone, maybe... Maybe two, three days, you will be happy. After that, you will get, get sad again because someone will have a new Samsung model. Then we're going to see, oh, that's a new phone. So that will be a small happiness. But for continuous happiness, you need to do progress. So when you do progress, that keeps you motivated and that inspire others as well. All right, so I hope K. Uh, it looks like very fancy talk for me, uh, maybe. Uh, but Hassan, do you want to say something about this? I have said a lot of water and I will drink a Yes, uh, it was a very good session and yeah, it was a very, uh, it was covering all of the aspects to, uh, you know, to, do, uh, to go to Australia and uh, and, you are, and you are talking very good about that. Okay? The students have that fear and and when you just and you are just trying to just like uh, you want the students that you, you don't have to fear for appearing in an exam and you have just uh, you are just giving the guidance regarding the 
different council that we have to be a member of and then and they're easy and that you are like that you are saying uh, you are you do you do uh, you explain different aspects of how to uh, become a part of the Australian uh, farmers association and uh, the number of vacancies available for the farmers and and uh, I, I I believe that students uh, who are very interested in um, uh, shifting for the careers in in Australia, they must join your uh, group. They must show the dedication, and they just just like the that you have uh, communicated with me earlier. That uh, the students who are interested, they can uh, send you the short video of what they want to do and how they are going to um, uh, elaborate what what kind of work they want to do in Australia, and then you'll be recruiting them. It is a very good thing to uh, you know to uh, evaluate the passion for the students. They actually want to uh, pursue the career in Australia. So uh, I think we can uh, just uh, work together on it and uh, uh, we can give you students, the name of the students who are actually willing to, uh, you know, apply for the, uh, for the CAPS exam and, and we can work together on it. And, and we are very pleased uh, from, the, uh, from the Karachi University uh, Science Club, Farmer Science Club, we're very pleased to have you as our guest uh, for today and as speaker for today. And uh, you just uh, uh, covered the different aspects of uh, uh, moving to Australia. And, and I'm, very, I'm, I'm pretty happy that you, you just share the good information uh, to our students. And, you know, uh, <clears throat> in the, just, just like you said, you told us that uh, in the past, we, we, we have only, we, we had no uh, test centers. And uh, up to now, we have three test centers, and, and it's and, and amazing. And, and the power for the survey, I will try my best to give you the best survey form, the best response of the students, so that we can arrange a test center in Karachi as well. Yes, and I'll try to... Maybe, why not? Get two centers. Yes, like yes. I'll, I'll, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm working on it, and I'll, I'll just uh, try my best to uh, give you the, uh, the best response from the students of Karachi, so that you can arrange a test center for the, uh, the Karachi students as well. And why not if it is in, in Islamabad, in Lahore, why not Karachi? So it, it should be a, uh, it should be in a Karachi as well. So apart from that, uh, uh, what else uh, we can provide you with the services, we can provide you with the, uh, with the, the, the students uh, in, in the, we were actually junior for the fourth year and third year, we can make the mind of the students and we can raise uh, such webinars uh, off and on to uh, motivate them for their coming years. and and uh, for pursuing the career uh, in the pharmacy as a retail pharmacist in, uh, in Australia and working in Australia. And uh, there are other routes that you discussed in, in your previous sessions, like uh, as a pharmacy technician from the uh, uh, Vitrasis, I guess, Vitrasis, the route of the Vitrasis. Uh, I, 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 I checked that route as well, but, and it was, it was a good route as well, but the caps, it uh, it has it requires no no uh, you know no, no experience is required for no the cap. Yes, that's the beauty of this process. And and, uh, and for, to uh, to be very honest, I always thought that for appearing in the cap, you have to move to Australia to appear for the test. And at the end of this session, I come to know that we can appear in the in the cap for uh, from Pakistan. from the Pakistan. There are three and, dates available for July in Lahore, three dates available in uh, Islamabad, one center, and second center, three days. So there are nine options available in July on day one, on 16, then, then 17, then, then 18. So there are nine, 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 18 days available for Pakistani students to do the exam in July this year and also in November. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. I, I am a final year student and uh, I will complete my degree in uh, most probably in January, and uh, af after the January, and uh, I'll I'll try my best to uh, apply for the CAPS examinations. And uh, meanwhile, I'll just uh, uh, prepare for the uh, for the CAPS examination. Uh, I have this book with me. I I I study for this book. I study from this book. Yes. I have this with me. Yes, that's the that's the Bible. Uh, I have a PNC Pharmacy Review by Sharjah. <laughs> Uh, and thank you, thank you. Uh, if anyone don't have a book, if you come to my group, I will give that to you free. I have a PDF format. You can take it from me. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I study from this book and I have this book with me and I have like, a, I have just completed 19 to 20 chapters that uh, uh, that have the different pharmacological aspect, the federation, uh, the regulating the laws, rules and regulation. But I'm not familiar with the regulations of Australia. I have to study about that uh, before coming to Australia, prior coming to Australia, I guess. 
so uh, apart from that uh, i wanted to ask uh, uh, there are some confusion regarding uh, what uh, what how many taxes are deducted uh, from the salaries of the uh, uh, from the work of the of the person working in australia okay that's a good question uh, because australia is uh, is very clever that's why they are inviting you to work in australia they want a tax from you <laughs> okay so this is not a freebie this is the gain for australian government and uh, the, when you come to work every dollar that you can earn like 1 dollar you earn so imagine that 25% or 20% is the student government will take out of your salary all right so, so kind of from statement of the is it from $1 20 cent or 25 cent you are earning for the student government and in return our student government give you a great country to live to work peaceful country and um, what else you want in your life health system no crime less crime no not 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 no crime but less crime um great peaceful high uh, very high level of um, uh, living style uh, very good weather and uh, really very good healthcare system top healthcare system in the world if you stuck up in an accident doesn't matter who you are they will send a plane for you if you are in some difficulty another question regarding that uh, what about the nationalities are they given to the pharmacists on the working uh, the skill visas okay when you get this 491 visa you have to work uh, for four years and in out of that four years for two years you need to show that you have worked and earn a tax and give that tax return to apply for your next pr visa so in 3 years you can apply or one can apply for pr visa which is a permanent resident visa and in 5th year you can apply for your citizenship okay when you get the citizenship you will get a dual nationality if you want to keep the pakistani passport and you want to keep the australian passport so in 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 australia and in pakistan there is a mutual agreement that both the uh, passports Uh, like a citizen of pakistan can get a dual nationality an australian citizen can get a dual, dual nationality but if you want to become a prime minister here in this country you want to give up that uh, nationality of pakistan if you want to work in government sector on a ministerial level then you need to give up your pakistani passport so what are you thinking you are up to the ministerial level of for no. the no no i don't have any intention to do that because i always around with ministers i always try to be a simple person to be advisor uh, and i um, know i don't have any intention for that no maybe maybe i will educate my kids maybe my next generation i i like them to do take part in in council elections or but i think i'm too old for that anyone who is 25 who is young who is young like 22 that person should take it if you are coming as a young and if you establish yourself in 5 years as a citizen for example if you come to australia within 2 years and you become 30 years old and you become a citizen in 30 years age you can apply for that role i will encourage everyone who's coming to new this country they should go for the council election they should go for the state election they should try to work in the ministerial office as a volunteer because uh, australian uh, australia is a country where you looking forward to live here and your future generation will be living here so why not Uh, i would request the uh, the participants if they have any questions regarding the today's session they can ask from uh, the uh, sir irfan hashmi so we can end the session uh, hasan i have sir I, i have a question uh, sir do they take english exams for english assessment like ielts or toefl uh, pte like... and ielts are the most common one i would recommend you to do the pte exam PTE is the uh, easy option, and it give you if you take eighty marks, then you will have a great uh, chance to get the one nine zero direct PR visa. One of my student from Lahore University, fresh graduate, he and his wife passed the exam, CAPS exam in November twenty two. Fresh graduate from last twenty twenty one, and what they did, they just followed what I explained today exactly. They they passed the exam both. girl and boy both passed the exam both passed the pte exam with 80 marks no experience and they applied directly 190 visa which is a permanent resident visa so they have saved lot of time 
by doing hard work in the KEFs, by doing hard work in getting maximum numbers of the PTE number. And that's how they got an invite from Victorian Gum and Victorian State about state nomination 190. If you have a chance, go on my YouTube and watch the video by young boy named Talha. He's talking about that. Just watch that and get the inspiration from that young boy. I will be doing a podcast with him very soon, maybe in one or two days with both husband and wife. Very young. And um, uh, husband and wife pharmacist do very well in this country because they understand each other more easily and they understand uh, their work and their family life more compatibly as compared to any other health professional or any other profession. Uh, you, uh, how safe Australia is for the multicultural people? Like <clears throat> you said that we were more practicing towards Islam or something like that. Okay, very good question. Okay, uh, look, I have uh, a group which is called Pharmacist, or Pakistani Pharmacists in Australia. That group, please join that group. Everyone, I would encourage you, everyone to just open your Facebook, find that Pakistani Pharmacists in Australia, just join that group. In that group, uh, Ramzan, when Ramzan started, um, uh, I actually uh, noticed, I talked with Pharmacy Guild of Australian President, and I shared that, look, uh, I want you to, tweet i want you to greet every muslim in australia by saying a ramzan greeting so he did that and uh, um, and he actually greeted all the health professionals all the pharmacy health professionals in australia first of all by saying ramzan mubarak and also he's saying ramzan mubarak to all australian because nearly about 800000 muslims lives in this country 800000 right so he's greeting that and he's also saying that because I was the advisor for him, I, and I said to him, look, can you please say that pharmacists are more important health professional where any person who is fasting and they need advice for the medication, they can come to a Muslim pharmacist in the pharmacy and talk about that, ask the pharmacy, ask the pharmacist, ask the staff. So that's something which become a, like a viral thing. Okay, so this is just an example of pharmacy world, but you ask the question about Australia. Australian Prime Minister, Australian uh, uh, Premiers, Australian Ministers, Australian MPs, they all know the importance of religion. Every religion, regardless of Islam, regardless of any other religion. Multiculturalism is the first agenda of this government. First agenda, like a top agenda at the moment, to bring different cultures together. Okay, so you don't have to worry about anything about Islam or anything. M mosque and, and um, yes, I mean, just uh, follow some of the news channels from Australia on, on these uh, even date. If, if somebody is from Hindu culture, let's say, uh, they have Diwali, they have uh, Holi. Uh, these celebrations are huge in this country. Eid celebration is huge in this country. Parliament House. They arranged an Eid function just last week, Parliament House. So every leader from Muslim community was there. So what else do you need to know? That's good. That's great to hear about them. I, I'm, I'm just in for that. <laughs> if you become a prominent person, if you become a leader, then you will get an invite as well. Why not? If you become a, like, you know, you know how we become a leader? We become a leader when we serve people without a, a return without anything in return that's one person that's how we become a community leader in this country we do volunteering volunteering is very important volunteering means that go and spend time without anything in return this is what we call volunteer australia is based australian culture is based on volunteerism that's how you make connection with people that without anything in return. Today I'm sitting here, I'm not getting paid, but I'm sitting here to do something for good for you guys, right? So this is a great example of a volunteerism, right? And I do webinars. A uh, lot of people have a misconception. It's still, I get phone calls from different strange people that we need to know about Irfan Hashmi, what is going on? Why he's actually coming uh, and telling to all the university because I approach many universities and some of the professors, some of the uh, colleagues want to know about me that 
there must be a hidden agenda somewhere that why he want to come to universities and and want to educate pharmacists for Australia. There must be some money going on to his accounts from Australian government or something like that. So there, there, this is kind of mental approach that I come across so many times in last uh, 10 days when I circulate that message openly in my groups that please, please go back to your university and ask that if I can come to your university for a webinar. So these are the questions came back to me. So I was laughing, first of all, and I was thinking, when we will come to a level in our country where someone is doing this for heart, from his heart and explaining things uh, without anything in return. It's not about likes or it's not about uh, YouTube channel or remuneration. It's not like that. I have made some videos about that as well in my, because uh, uh, in University of Karachi, I think some students said about that, oh, Irfan is establishing his YouTube channel. That's why he actually won more likes and this and that. No, no, I'm not after that. Uh, look, likes and things come automatically. When you focus on your work, when you focus on your energy on something like a mission. So I'm on a mission. If you see my statement, I normally give 22 points to all the pharmacists who approach me. Some people just ignore, some people read it. And when they read it, they understand that why I'm doing this. There's a mission behind it. I want everyone who's listening today, I want, to, I want you to know that why I'm doing this for free. I'm doing this for free because I want pharmacists to come to Australia, first of all, take over many jobs here and become good pharmacist, become leader of this industry, become entrepreneur in this industry, which helps two, three ways. First of all, you will get success. Your network will get success. Your country will get some benefit. When you will send money back to your country, that will help your country. And eventually stay connected, make a bigger community of overseas pharmacists in this country, because there's a room of place that you can come and work. That's why I'm doing it. That's a good initiative, I guess. Yes, sir. With a, with a pure intention. Pure intention. That's right. Yes. Uh, right. I'll quickly answer some of the questions. Uh, I know that uh, Savdar has raised his hand. Savdar, just hold on for a second because there were a few questions in the chat. I will just quickly read those and answer those because they will be expecting a reply. If you don't mind, I'll just quickly do that. Um, I'll read that question. I just need to move my mic a little bit here. Okay. Savdar, you can ask the question while I'm reading the other question, please. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Amida, I'm very well. Thank Assalamu alaikum to everyone. Sir, this is a motivate current. This is a very good thing. This is a misguided way. This is a proper guidance. This is actually a value. This is 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 a value. This Inshallah, you will have to support you and your message will not be able to do it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, the other thing, sir, is that I am in the district. I am basically graduated from Punjab University of Lahore as I sent you my intro earlier. And Inshallah, I am going to go to Lahore and I am going to go to my university and I am going to coordinate with students and professors. And Inshallah, I try my best to assist them. Thank you, sir. 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 And uh, the other thing is that I already applied my skill assessment uh, and started my preparation from pharmacology CP, uh, and CPR books. Um, but uh, still, I am unable to get my. Oh, sorry, I will. Please yes. message me after the webinar. I'll add you. So sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, okay, sir. Oh, I think I've told you. And inshallah, sir, I try my best uh, to link with you to arrange a webinar, inshallah. Sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, Komal Kumari, she asked a question that ke exam is how it is, is it MCQ or what is written exam? Hota hai? The answer is that is the MCQ exam. So you have question given with five choices, A, B, C, D, and you have to just tick and, and select the right answer. So that's the, that's the easy part. So you need to understand that you don't have stories, you don't have to solve case studies, you don't have to case studies, but there are MCQs. Hi hote Thikke, how are experienced pharmacists? Experienced pharmacists, Mariam Siddiqui has asked, hai, uh, Mariam, you mute and mute. You have to mute and mute. You have to 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 mute. You
experience hai to they can claim points during the visa application Three years se zyada experience hona chahiye to aapko kuch points milte hain uske lekin hamara jo audience hai aaj sare wo student hain to unke liye bahut important hai ye janna ki koi experience nahi ho you can apply for visa that's very important point theek hai uh, i do have a question maryam sayed i do have a question maryam sayed aapke paas koi question hai to aap pooch lijiye you can you can raise a question raise a hand and ask the question if you have a question uh, Okay, Aisha, as a, can you tell me what kind of question I can do? There's a sample available. Uh, I can share the sample. If you come to the group, I can share the sample. You can see that. I can even give you some one example of like uh, 200 question as a previous past paper. You can see that and you can get an idea what type of question comes. Yes, but you, see, you can, you can uh, unmute yourself, introduce yourself and ask the question, please. Assalamu alaikum sir this is Maryam Sayya from Final Prof yes. um i just want to ask that uh, one can continue study after giving the caps exam uh, like if anyone want to um, switch the field towards the mba and uh, other than the sutex college so one can do this after giving that's up to you if you want to do masters of business administration immediately after finishing your degree that's totally up to you because because you know that all the masters degree all the higher qualification are actually uh, required in 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 the job market in pakistan right if you talk about job market in australia undergraduate is only minimum requirement is required like is the basic requirement so if you want to stay in pakistan that's fine if you want to use your time to study that's fine but if you come to australia right that degree don't make a huge difference in your in your in your in your career uh that's what i can say but it's good to study something it's good to study uh but focus if you focus on passing the caps exam that's more important i would say is that is that good or is that bad is that something valuable for you maryam um so actually my question that uh... after giving the caps exam or co- after completion of the internship as you've said if i want to continue my study is staying in australia yep while staying in australia yeah yep. so if it is possible or not possibly nothing is impossible first of all but if you ask me a question whether is it is it beneficial if it's good for yeah. your career or not i can tell you right now okay look if you do your certification to become consultant pharmacist when you become registered pharmacist that will add a huge value in your career rather than doing an mba degree if you do okay. masters in clinical pharmacy that will huge benefit it for you in wow. your career in australia rather than doing mba but doing any masters degree is not give you a huge edge in your salary nothing like that but if you do certification if you become a consultant pharmacist like a hmr conducting pharmacist if you become a pharmacist who can do a special training for compounding pharmacy if you do a special training for becoming a sleep apnea specialist pharmacist that will add a huge like a draw card for your career that that will give you a jump in salary that will give you more opportunity rather than just doing a degree all right okay yeah thank you so much because uh, i think that uh, if uh, i want to pursue my career as a career, clinical pharmacist so there is much more value than in australia rather yeah. than in pakistan yes yeah yes. so that's why i was asking this question Look, thank you so much clinical pharmacy is a word is a fancy word which we say but yeah. clinical pharmacist um, in community pharmacy only you need to do certifications like uh, hmr okay. accredited pharmacy double acp accreditation if you do okay. that in your first two years obviously yeah. you will have a extra earning you will have a extra yeah. edge of working working with gps with yeah. doctors you will be good as clinical pharmacist so but if you want a tag like a clinical pharmacist <laughs> masters you can do that as well if you want to do that that's fine as well but i can tell you if you come to a job in my company and say so just say that i have a masters in clinical pharmacy and if you don't have a certification of that hmr yeah. you won't get any benefit from me if you have certification of okay. that hmr and you don't have that yeah. masters clinical pharmacy you will get the benefit from me okay so you, you so... understand the reality you need to understand what is worthful okay degrees, so... masters degree phd degree mphil degree is culture 
culturally based thing in Pakistan where we have to compete in the job market. In Australia, you need to have basic degree and certifications. Additional. Okay. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, uh, there's another question which says, uh, um, mentioned about 491 fresh graduate, what about the others? Um, Mariam Siddiqui, I don't know what you mean by that question, sir. You mentioned 491 visa for fresh graduate, what about others? Uh, 491 visa is available for everyone, but especially available for students with that no work experience. So that's what I can say in reply of your question. Uh, how we prepare for the CAPS exam? What prefer what book, books we prefer? As as uh, Hassan just showed that book, uh, comprehensive review of pharmacy by Sharjil Lippincott is another book, and um, Australian Medicine Handbook is another book which is very very handy for, and also uh, very important for you everyone to understand that don't read the whole book. You need to do a smart study. You need to go into the end of the chapter do the MCQ part of each chapter and memorize those 20, 25 questions in each app chapter. That is more important for you. All right. So CAPS is the exam which requires a smart person like you to do a smart study. It's not a study where you have to go through all of your five years notes. No, it's not that. You need to focus on smart study. Okay. Um, Okay, can Excuse we... me, sir. We have Miss Sana Safraz with us. Yes. Uh, ask me, ma'am, can are you are you available? Uh yes, but assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum, Mr. Rifan. Yes, uh, we are highly grateful uh, from the science club of Faculty of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences that you could arrange this webinar for the students and uh, uh, your uh, uh, your efforts are highly commendable that you are you know giving your time and your effort for all this and i hope the students have learned a lot from this session and they get motivated to you know uh, apply for it and uh, you are basically a mentor for the students so thank you very much for giving your time for, for this session thank you so much for introducing me with these students that's uh, something which very close to my heart to to tell them about CAPS opportunities in Australia and also about, uh, uh, you know, the lottery visa, which I say lottery visa for pharmacist because no work experience required and one can apply. So that's very important. I would say that everyone who understand, I request everyone to make notes as well. So I'm pretty sure everyone has made the notes and they, and they plan for next coming 12 months. Sure, inshallah, because it's a big thing to have uh, someone to guide you properly through the steps. So, mashallah, you are uh, doing a very great job. Thank you. I was just finishing the webinar with the questions because there were so many questions and I promised everyone that please write your question in the chat box. I'm just quickly, quickly answering those questions before we knock off the program. Is that all right? We will just uh, uh, leave this question for the YouTube live. We can just leave the question here and then we can answer them if you if this, if this is convenient for you. So say again, Hassan, I missed that, please. Uh, the session is also available on the YouTube live. You can uh, give the answer there as well. Uh, oh, yes, the, yes. If you like to. This will be live recorded and it, it will be available for everyone to watch again. This is all recorded there. And anyone who has missed the initial part, they can uh, watch it from the start because we have discussed, we have covered everything, how to pass the exam, yes. how to come to the group and how to apply for the CAFs, how to plan, how to do the PTE. I already uh, uh, have a plan to help those for English exam as well. So I provide the education material for preparing the English test as well. That's very easy for for you, you don't have to go to any exam center or PTE center. You can just do those things by going on the website and watching the YouTube. You can pass the exam and many students have done that, uh, 80 marks uh, by doing that. I have a raised hand by Sajid. Can I take this question? If Sajid has a raised hand. Yes, uh, thank you, Rifan uh, I am audible to you. Yes, please, yes. 
Okay, thank you. Now, my question is that I am industrial pharmacist having the 12 year experience in the multinational pharmaceutical company in Pakistan. I want to ask a question that uh, it is mandated to pass the caps uh, if I am applying for the industrial pharmacist in Australia. No, if you're applying for industrial pharmacies, obviously you will go with Vitasis. You're not going with caps, so there's no need. Okay. But again, I will tell you the reality here. The job market is very tough at the moment for industrial pharmacists. You won't get a okay. job. You need to be mentally ready that you need to switch to a community pharmacy profession by doing the caps. Okay. But for initial immigration, I don't want to uh, pass the caps initially. No, you don't need to. No, you just do the pitasis assessment by documentation and do the English. Okay. English. Yeah. Actually, Actually, you have to plan to give the PT examination on coming uh, July or September. So that's why I'm asking. No, uh, if you confident that your documents are all good to apply, then you don't need to know. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for your commendable comments. Thanks. Thank you very much. Hasan, it's over to you. What you want me to do? Let me know. Uh, I think I have covered everything. Uh, I, I think uh, that's uh, I, I, it was great to have you on board with us and uh, uh, we would like to conclude our session for today. And, uh, uh, I think it's enough for us for uh, to uh, up till now, and uh, the whole experience was very uh, amazing, and and you just gave a lot of information regarding the whole journey from uh, Pakistan to Australia, and and uh, it was a kind of a very uh, interactive session, and uh, you know, although uh, you are, uh, you are, some of the questions were uh, were asked, or some of them were not asked, were not were not answered. Uh, during the whole session, obviously. <laughs> so to conclude that we have to do, uh, we have to put a lot of efforts uh, and we have to, uh, you know, we have to be oriented toward our goal to uh, to move to Australia. And I, I am, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the students uh, from Karachi University would also be passionate as same as you are working in Australia so they can uh, uh, clear the pathway for the other for the coming students or the, for the upcoming undergraduates who want to pursue the career in, in pharmacy uh, as well that's right yes very true um, pharmacists are in demand why not uh, work in a way that you can have a good value of your career and good money in return when you work in in this country uh, and Hassan, can you see some hands raised here? Would you allow them to have those questions or is your time finished? Sure, you can take these questions and- Sure, can... Bali, yes, you have a raised hand. You can ask the question granted by Hassan. Yes, sir. Oliver, I am, I am a clinical research coordinator. So I have to give a CAPS exams also. Uh, sorry, who's who's asking the question? First of all, introduce yourself. I could not pick up yourself. Is it Shoei Bali? Yeah. Not, I am a sister of Hassan Ali, Musha Ahmad Ali. And my sis, uh, my question is, I am a clinical research coordinator and I am pharmacist. So, so I have to give CAPS exams also? Yes, CAPS exam, as I explained to you in the presentation, is actually the degree that you have is become equivalent to Australian degree. So at the moment, your degree, wherever you have done, your degree is not equivalent to Australian degree. To make this happen, you need to do the CAPS. All right. And someone asked I, a question uh, that our degree, current degree in, in University of Karachi can be transferable to Australian degree in Australian University. There is a possibility if you try to get admission, but it will be very expensive. So why you want to do a very expensive pathway when you can finish your Australia, like your university in Karachi, and do the caps, which will be very cost effective for you. Very cost effective. So don't go for expensive pathway. Don't go for a master's degree in Australia because it will uh, consume a lot of money, a lot of, lot of money. And someone asked about the big city situation. Big city, the jobs are very hard, right? So you need to understand where the jobs are and community pharmacies are most welcoming for overseas pharmacists. Someone asked, uh, um, um, opening two new centers, yeah, that's already done. But they also give initiality, yes, I explained to you earlier, yes, they give initiality when you complete the time frame of five years in Australia working. And um, 
Uh, someone asked that today I came to know study visa Australia for master study that procedure. Okay, there is a, there 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 are many types of masters in pharmacy in Australia. One master of uh, uh, pharmacy degree, which is offered by University of Macquarie, University of Sydney, which is a two year or three year degree, which costs nearly hundred thousand dollars for two years. So that degree allow someone to do. Uh, direct registration where you don't need to do the caps. But again, the question is that, do you have that extra money in your home, whether you can sell a big house to get do crore rupiah to do the master's degree or rather, rather than you just spend 10 lakh rupees and get your caps passed and come to Australia on 491 visa? Which one is the smart way, I think? I think someone do spend 2,000 uh, dollar or like 2000 I think that's more visible, visible rather than coming to Australia on a student visa. Um, uh, scholarship ki baat ki master's program mein dekhe, uh, scholarship jo hai wo offer karti hai universities lekin bhai uh, Arisha aapne sawal kiya aapko Ma, aapki university ne 5 saal padhaya hai theek hai aapki degree ki huge value hai is country mein aur is waqt value ko in cash karne ka time hai just do the caps come to australia on work visa which is 491 visa as i explained to the other candidate mariam ke you can do masters here uh, but the art the slag rupya kharch karke aap caps karke idhar aao you can have a wonderful life here gpa ka sawal kiya hai ye bade mazedar sawal hota hai koi gpa nahi chahiye hota caps walo ko aapka gpa kahin bhi laga hua Top pe laga wao, aap gold medalist ho ya bottom pe laga wao. Koi masla nahi hai caps ko. Caps ko sirf aapki degree se matlab hai aur aapki mark sheet se matlab hai. Padhna aapne usi tarah hai caps ke liye jaise ki kisi duffer ne padhna hai, kisi gold medalist ne padhna hai. Doesn't make a difference. Caps pe pass hota hai ya fail hota hai. Uspe koi percentage nahi hoti. Isi wajah se wo GPA ko dekhte hi nahi hai. So that's a very good question. This wo har dafa hi sawal aata hai jab bhi main student ke saath aata hu. That's a very good question. Very valid question. So, there is a very interesting question here. Is there any age bias? Are the applicants over the age of 30 are encouraged to apply? 30 is not a problem. If you have a problem with the visa, then visa is not a problem. You can't get a problem with the visa. But if you have a problem with limit, you can't get a problem with the 50 year old pharmacist, Jordanian, who has a caps pass. 50 year old. And in 1997, my undergraduate is not a तो 26 साल के गैप के बाद एग्जाम पास किया है उन्होंने सिर्फ दो महीने पढ़ाई की थी उनका भी मेरे पॉडकास्ट मेरे YouTube पे पड़ा हुआ है जिसको दिल करे वो देख ले जाके उनके हाथ मेरा डिस्कशन है वो बता रहे हैं कि कितनी देर उन्होंने पढ़ाई की सिर्फ दो महीने पढ़ाई की थी उन्होंने चार घंटे दैट्स इट चार घंटे में 26 साल का पुराना बंदा फार्मासिस्ट जो था उसने भी इम्तिहान पास कर लिया आप तो अभी के पढ़े हुए लोग आप लोगों को तो मेरे ख्याल से दो घंटे भी पढ़ना का, काफी नहीं मतलब काफी होगा आप लोगों को तो कोई मसला नहीं है तो फियर तो होने नहीं चाहिए मैं इस कैप्स का जो हमने जो ये प्रोग्राम किया है आज इस पे मेरे ख्याल से अगर मैंने आप लोगों का फियर को ड्रा के भगाने दिया तो फिर मेरा ये जो कैप्स का जो वेबिनार है ना वो नाकाम हो जाएगा तो काइंडली आप अपना फियर तो दूर कर लो यार सब लोग क्योंकि एग्जाम जो है सिर्फ स्मार्ट स्टडी की जरूरत है आपको करने की एंड इट जस्ट कॉस्ट यू बेबी 2 आवर्स 3 आवर्स स्टडी when you're doing the exam before three months, before the exam, and if you're going to study it, then you'll have to study it for three hours if you're going to study it in your exam, if we share the material, that will be sufficient for you to, to overcome this horror exam, CAPS. Or any question, Hassan, you have to pick it up, because I'm going to study it in the list, I'm going to study it in 15 questions. <laughs> I'm a third year student, should I start studying? Why not, sir? Why not? If, you, if you're willing, why not? Plan early. Uh, Thank you very much. Uh, um, I think uh, I have covered everything. Uh, M Phil, I'm currently enrolled in M Phil for my cognacy. Uh, that's fine. Uh, you have the undergraduate degree, uh, and you can do caps assessment. You can prepare your caps probably November 2023 in uh, in Pakistan and come to uh, Australia as a 491 applicant you can come along with your family if you're married if you have kids you can come along with your visa because australia welcome the whole family as a visa all right um sir age limit ka koi chakkar nahi hai nahi maine bata diya age limit ka thank you very much i think uh, i have covered daily every topic or uh, hasan agar aap chahte hain ki uh, baaki hamare saath connect ho jaye to uh, aap unko hamara uh, jo 
व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप है उसको अगर आप शेयर करना चाहें अप टू यू हाउ यू हाउ यू बेस्ट हमें एक सर्वे करवाना एक सर्वे मैंने प्रिपेयर करवाया है तो दैट विल बी इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर कराची सेंटर अगर हम स्टूडेंट्स उनकी uh, एक उसमें उनको दो मिनट लगेगा उसको क्लिक क्लिक करके उसको भर दें और वो उससे वो डाटा आ जाएगा तो uh, अगले हफ्ते आई एम डूइंग अनदर वेबिनार फॉर अनदर यूनिवर्सिटी तो आई विल कलेक्ट टू और थ्री मोर सर्वे इज डन एंड देन आई विल सेंड इट टू एपीसी तो होपफुली कि हम नवंबर 23 में ही कराची का सेंटर अप्रूव करवा लें इस इंफॉर्मेशन की बेस पे ठीक है ना आई ट्राई माय बेस्ट के यू विल गेट द मैक्सिमम रिस्पांस आउट फ्रॉम आवर यूनिवर्सिटी ओके किसी ने थोड़ा सा सवाल किया कि आपने हमारे लाइव जो हम YouTube में आए उनके सवाल नहीं उठाए तो मैं जरा 1 मिनट देख के उसको भी खत्म कर लेता हूं um i have just completed my farm d waiting for my fresh result i have start preparation okay fresh graduate jinki degrees nahi aayi hain ye degrees aa gayi hain jinke council certificates nahi aaye hain unke liye ek under process letter pharmacy council jo pakistan mein sin hoti hai ya punjab hoti hai ya kisi aur kp ke wo ek under process ek letter dete hain uska ek sample hai mere paas jo ke i i have share in a video uh, which uh, which can be use as a sample for those who want to uh, come uh, uh, to australia so uh, uh, wo usko use kar sakte hain as a sample and can apply for caps assessment based agar unka wo nahi aaya hai agar fully registered wo nahi hue hain kisi ne sawal kiya hai ki main caps assessment bhar raha hu mera full name mein shoaib ali hai ya to i don't know how to write middle name देखिए शोएब आपका पहला नाम है जो कि फर्स्ट में आएगा लास्ट नेम आपका फैमिली नेम है वो उधर आएगा और अली अगर आपका मिडिल नेम है तो वो तो मिडिल सेक्शन में आएगा अगर वहाँ मिडिल का सेक्शन है आई थिंक वहाँ है तो आप भर सकते हैं इसको ठीक है अब मैं कोशिश कर रहा हूँ कि वट वीजा नॉमिनेशन फॉर साउथ ऑस्ट्रेलिया इज अगेन फोर नाइन वन वीजा इज अवेलेबल बट इज नॉट अवेलेबल फॉर फ्रेश ग्रेजुएट सो कीपिंग इन माइंड यू नीड टू हैव एक्सपीरियंस टू अप्लाई फॉर साउथ ऑस्ट्रेलियन स्टेट नॉमिनेशन ये उनके लिए जिनके पास एक्सपीरियंस है लेकिन हमारे पास जो आज ऑडियंस है वो सारे स्टूडेंट्स हैं जिस वजह से मैंने वो बाकी बातें नहीं की मैंने सिर्फ स्पेसिफिकली स्टूडेंट्स के लिए वेबिनार रखा था दैट्स व्हाई आई डिट टॉक अबाउट अदर थिंग्स और समन मूव टू यूरोपियन कंट्रीज और ऑस्ट्रेलिया देखिए यूरोप ना जाइएगा इंग्लैंड ना जाइएगा क्योंकि वहाँ पे फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड आपको यूनिवर्सिटी में पढ़ाई करने के पैसे देने पड़ेंगे एक साल के लिए जो कि बहुत बड़ी अमाउंट है और उसके बाद फिर आपको ट्रेनिंग वगैरह का इम्तहान करके ट्रेनिंग मिलेगी ठीक है तो इज अ वेरी एक्सपेंसिव वेरी लेंदी प्रोसेस फॉर यूके ऑस्ट्रेलिया इज मच चीपर ऑप्शन और वहाँ पे जॉब सिचुएशन है यहाँ नहीं है ठीक है और कैनेडा जाए ना जाए आप और अच्छा एक और मिथ बहुत होती है कि हमें बैंक स्टेटमेंट चाहिए कि नहीं चाहिए जाने के लिए यहाँ पे ऑस्ट्रेलिया के लिए आपको कोई बड़ी तगड़ी बैंक स्टेटमेंट बनाने की जरूरत नहीं है यू कैन अप्लाई विदाउट एनी बिग बैंक बिग बैंक स्टेटमेंट ठीक है ना तो ये भी बात क्लियर होनी चाहिए प्लीज लिख लीजिएगा क्योंकि बहुत सारे फार्मासिस्टों के मैंने दुखी कहानियां सुनी है उन्होंने दो दो तीन तीन साल जाया कर दिए इस चक्कर में कि उनको किसी ने मिस गाइड किया था कि ऑस्ट्रेलिया जाने के लिए आपको बड़ी तगड़ी बैंक स्टेटमेंट चाहिए होती है तो वो दो तीन साल से पैसे ही जमा करने में लगे हुए थे अपने बैंक बैंक स्टेटमेंट के अंदर तो मैंने कहा अरे यार तुम्हें किसने मिस गाइड कर दिया भाई किसने तुम्हें गलत खबरें दे दी तो प्लीज प्लीज स्टे इन टच विद मी यूज योर टेक्नोलॉजी टू गेट द अपडेटेड इन्फॉर्मेशन ठीक है ना फॉर ऑस्ट्रेलिया वो जिससे ऑस्ट्रेलिया का पता है मुझे किसी और कंट्री का कुछ नहीं पता है ठीक है और इज देर एनी प्रैक्टिस एग्जाम फॉर कैप्स ओके तलहा एक है उन्होंने पूछा है नो दे इज नो प्रैक्टिस एग्जाम अवेलेबल एट माई एंड बट दे आर सब इंस्टीट्यूट विच दे चार्ज फोर थाउजेंड डॉलर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डू दैट यू कैन डू इट लेकिन प्रैक्टिस एग्जाम की जरूरत नहीं रहती जब आपको हम मटीरियल देते हैं पढ़ने के लिए तो यू डू दैट सिक्सटी परसेंट सेवेंटी परसेंट पेपर उसी में से घूम के बन के आता है तो इफ यू हैव दैट मटीरियल विद यू देन यू हैव ए लार्जर चंक ऑफ चांस दैट यू विल पास द एग्जाम तो प्रिपरेशन ऐसी होनी चाहिए कि आपकी तैयारी हंड्रेड एंड टेन परसेंट हो एग्जाम में जब बैठे जब घर आए तो ऐसा लगे कि यार नाइन्टी परसेंट में एग्जाम सही करके आया हूँ ठीक है ना तो ये वाला लेवल जो होता है हमारे एलिट ग्रुप के स्टूडेंट्स का होता है तो आप एज ए स्टूडेंट जब गोल्ड ग्रुप पे आएंगे तो दिस इज यू विल गेट फ्रॉम फ्रॉम माई टीचिंग ठीक है ना तो आई होप के सर नॉर्वे के ऑप्शन आई डोंट नो अबाउट नॉर्वे प्लीज दो एनीथिंग विच आई डोंट नो नॉर्वे इज डिफरेंट लैंग्वेज कंट्री है 
or uh, uh, I don't encourage anyone to go to Norway, please. Uh, uh, that's not good at the moment because a lot of people coming from Norway to Australia at the moment. My group, how many people from Norway to Australia are you? Do you So that option is not good. All right. I think uh, I have done uh, cover all the points. Thank you very much, Hassan. Thank you very much, all the students who were here with me. Thank you, Anika. Thank you. Mariam, you have a question. Mariam has a question. Thank you, Ms. Sarah. Aapka. Thank you very much for uh, Sir Iqbal as well for uh, having me on board with the university. I was so excited this morning. Okay, I will be talking to so many uh, finally the students. Hopefully, who have not attended your friends, they will tell them that this is going to be on YouTube. Pe padha hai, aapke ja ke dekh le. That will be huge life changing even for everyone. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you for your precious time and your efforts for the for motivating the students and clearing the fear or the thoughts regarding this whole uh, journey to Australia. And uh, we would like, we would be happy that you <clears throat> take some further sessions regarding these Australian uh, journeys for the students to motivate them in the coming years. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. You can end the meeting.